very same point that uh, he brings about, and I think it's very uh, important that we discuss this because the reasons why uh, we have this standoff within the counties, number one, of course, one attributed to the fact that we've not gotten proper accountability. Mm -hmm. Probably from the previous phases of devolution, of course, the governors at that particular time. So mm -hmm. if they were not able to account or, or maybe to give us you know, proper services based on what they were given, mm -hmm. then it gives us that feel that maybe it's not necessary to award them all this amount of money. And some of the governors are, you know, acting, are, are victims of, of this. And mm -hmm. We sort of see the trends in the kinds of leadership that we witness today. The reason why some of the CBAs uh, have not been, or you know, this, uh, the, 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 not, I mean, not the curriculum based, of course, but we're talking about the, uh, the agreements that we have, of course, yeah. within different sectors and the government. Mm. The reason why some of them have not been implemented is because, of course, there was that phase of leadership at that particular time when, time when the agreement was being made, mm. and they knew very well that they are going to be out of office, so mm. they didn't worry much because they knew, okay, well, the next person then will come and face the trouble. And typically, <laughs> what we witness with yeah. devolution, not yeah. all the governors came back. Actually, majority of the governors went home yeah, yeah. and now they're facing the pain or the pinch of what predecessors did that was not right or maybe the people they succeeded did that was not right so what can we do to transform the leadership to transform it to a leadership that is good enough to think about tomorrow i was talking to someone uh, they were telling me a story of how indians operate in terms of business mm. they do their businesses thinking about their next and the next and the generation. next generation mm. why is it that we do not have this mind mm. where we can craft a kind of leadership of uh, you know the, the kind of way we deal with businesses thinking of the next generation so that mm. way then it means then you'll have abundance for the rest of time I think we need also to inform the public that they, 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 they are the people. Mm. They, they are the people who actually who give power. I think most of the citizens tend to underrate their, their strength. Mm. They don't know that they can ask for these leaders to be accountable. Because mm. now, imagine a governor comes in. Okay, democracy is very expensive. Mm. Because um, every governor comes with his own manifesto. He tries to implement it. Mm. Now, an opponent comes and wins over the, the, incumbent. the incumbent. Now, the problem now is he, he try to, to leave, or he doesn't want to, to implement whatever the other uh, governor Person tried to mm -hmm. do, which is uh, very, very, very detrimental. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, the, the Senate again should have what we call an implementation committee. You remember what we, before the new constitution, there was um, a transition authority, mm. yeah. where it, it was um, it was helping the, the municipalities and the what, to move from municipalities to, to the counties, counties yeah. the transition authority. Mm -hmm. So I think we should have an oversight, actually within the, within the, within the Senate, because mm -hmm. what I, as my colleague is saying, the Senate is okay, mm. but the people who are there should actually work and make sure that we are the real oversight. Mm -hmm. What are the programs that are there in the county? Mm -hmm. You said you will do A, B, C, D. How many have you done? Mm -hmm. Have you done A, B? So now we finish that, and then now the next one, when the other person comes in, because our country or our counties are in um, perpetuity. Right. There, there, there is no way that they can say there is no continuity or there is no development or what. So if we have that footprint that mm -hmm. By the end of the five years, every county should have achieved this. The next governor who is coming will have to, 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 to start from there. Mm -hmm. And now, the, the general public should know that the, we are the people, we the people. Mm -hmm. We are the people with power. We give you this power, we want to see how you are doing with it. Yeah. Uh, what have you done? Mm -hmm. And if we become, uh, if we, there are a lot of public participation, mm -hmm. Our MCAs, our representatives, we have everybody, the charge leaders, the opinion leaders, they should all these governors were accountable to them and mm -hmm. uh, make sure that every, everything they said mm -hmm. is being done. Right. If it's not being done, mm -hmm. ask why.